You chill a bottle of wine to 33 degrees and bring it to the beach on an 88 degree day. The wine will warm to a temperature of T of T equals 88 minus 55 E to the negative 1.5 T degrees in T hours. So lots of T's hanging out around here. What do these T's stand for? So we have to figure out our input and our output in this problem. So our temperature was 33 degrees when we got there and then it was 88 degrees outside. And that's after T hours. So what do you think we put in? Do you think we put in the temp and then we get out how many hours we've been there? Or do you think it makes more sense to think about how many hours you've been sitting there and then what the line will be? This is the in and this is the out. Put in the hours and then I can tell you about how warm your wine has gotten. This is a pretty relatable problem in South Carolina, in college too. So, wine at the beach. What could be better? The first part says, find T of 0.6 and interpret your results. So remember, when we plug in, it's hours, what we get out, it's temp, and then the other thing we're thinking about, are we plugging into the original? because it doesn't have any change words. Are we plugging into the um, derivative because it's asking instantaneous change, or are we plugging into the slope because it says average rate of change? Well, this is a super straightforward problem in the homework. It says find t of 0.6. So hey, I think we should just plug into t, not the derivative. So this one's kind of nice, not just because it's like a relaxing wine on the beach problem, but because it tells you exactly what it wants you to plug into. So we're going to plug in 0.6 for t. So we have 88 minus 55 e to the negative 1.5 times 0.6, which in most calculators you might need parentheses that it raises that whole thing up since it's multiplied. So try it on yours. Make sure you can use that e button because we'll need it for this class. What you should get is 65 Point six four what? Plug in point six hours, you get out sixty five point six four degrees. Put in the hours, you get out the temp. And what do you think this is in? It doesn't actually say on this one. This must be degrees Fahrenheit. It can't be degrees Celsius. Eighty eight degrees Celsius on the beach, you would literally be on fire. So, not Celsius. So, now we need to interpret the results, this other part. What is 65 degrees? That's the temp of the wine, right? After 0.6 hours. Well, something that might make this easier to interpret would be changing this to minutes. So, we could talk about 0.6 hours, or we could multiply it by 60 minutes in an hour. Totally up to you. 0.6 of 60, though, is 36 minutes. All right, these hours will cancel out and we'll be in minutes instead. 0.6 of 60 gives us 36 minutes. So, 36 minutes, or 0.6 hours, after getting to the beach, the wine is 65.64 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was 33 degrees, it was nice and cold, and then after 36 minutes of sitting at the beach, it was up to 65.64 degrees Fahrenheit, a lot warmer. The next part says find t prime of 0.6 and interpret your results. So t prime tells me I need to take the derivative. So first I'm just going to take the derivative with respect to time. Well one thing I might note, I'm going to bring down the problem so that it's easier for you guys to see. I know it's much clearer on your paper than on my screen. 88 minus 55 e to the negative 1.5 t. And we want to know on this one, we have e to something besides a regular x, or in this case, a regular t. So we need to use rule 6. Said to put a star on it, it's going to come back up. It already is coming back up. 
It's used a lot in real life problems. So first of all, what's the derivative of 88? That's a constant, the derivative is zero. And then I have this constant multiple here. It's not a product rule because there's not two t's multiplied. So I'm gonna just keep the constant multiple, negative 55. And then take the derivative of my power, derivative of negative 1.5t is just negative 1.5. Derivative of your power times e to the original power. So if you need to, you can definitely look back at rule six on those basic derivatives to see how I did that there. Keep your constant multiple, derivative of the power times e to the original power. And you could combine those constants out front if you want to. I will just in case you don't have a graphing calculator which can handle it all at once, but negative 55 times negative 1.5, two negatives are gonna make it a positive 82.5 e to the negative 1.5 t. And now we can plug in and see the rate of change for any hour, but it asks us t prime of 0 0.6. 82.5 e to the negative 1.5 times 0 0.6, placing that t in there in parentheses. And you might need the whole power in parentheses depending upon your calculator. So our instantaneous rate of change is going to be 33.5. 5 for what? What's our units on this? It's a rate of change, so it has both. So it's going to have the output units over the input units. Wow, what does this mean? This means the temp of the wine is what? Is it increasing or decreasing based upon this rate of change? It's increasing. by 33.54 degrees per hour after 0.6 hours or 36 minutes, whatever may, helps you make more sense in your head. 30, 0.6 hours makes very little sense to me, but 36 minutes, I can actually think about that. So the temp of the wine is increasing by 33.54 degrees per hour after 0.6 hours or 36 minutes at the beach. It is getting hot really fast. So 36 minutes in, it's already gone from 33 degrees to 65 degrees, and then it's expected to continue to increase by 33.54 degrees per hour thing. So let's compare that to the average change in the temperature. So we know how fast it's changing at exactly 36 minutes. Well, what's the overall change in the first hour that it sits at the beach? So it says on average, which tells us to use the slope. And it says in the first hour, so it doesn't give us a nice interval A to B. So we need to think about what that is. So we're going from zero hours of being there to one hour of being there when it says in the first hour. So that we have our A to B. So we're going to use the slope formula to find the average change. So we're going to plug in T of 1, the temperature after one hour, and to compare that to the temperature after zero hours over one minus zero. So I'm plugging into the original for these because I'm looking at y values. So I'm looking at this original function here. I'm doing 88 minus 55 e to the negative 1.5 times one. Plugging into the original. And what you should get is 75 point, and it keeps going on for a really long time. I'm gonna write down as many numbers as I can because on WebAssign you cannot round until your final answer in real life. I would totally give you full credit just for being close, but WebAssign is very picky, so write down as many numbers as you can because you cannot round to your final answer. So we have 75.72784119. When we plug in 1, minus plugging in 0 is nice. E to the 0 is just going to be 1, so you have 88 minus 55 times 1 which is 88 minus 55, which is 33. Hey, I didn't even need to plug that in. That makes sense. They told me that when we got to the beach way up here that it was 33 degrees. So that's why we get 33 when we plug in zero. Kind of already told us in the problem. And we're dividing that by one. 
because 1 minus 0 is 1. And so what we get, and now we can round because it's our final answer, is 42.73 divided by 1, which is going to be 42.73. So this is degrees Fahrenheit, the units from the numerator, over hours, the units from the denominator. Rates of change always have two, hours, or two units. So what's the average rate of change then? We're going to interpret this. The wine temperature is doing what? The wine temp. is increasing or decreasing? Is increasing, because it's a positive number. Positive slope means increasing. The wine temp is increasing on average by 42.73 degrees Fahrenheit per hour in the first hour on the beach. Definitely multiple ways you could write that same sentence, but there's one of them just to get us ready for more interpreting in test two. Um, the wine temp is increasing because it's positive on average because we did the average rate of change by 42.73 degrees per hour in that first hour on the beach. It's getting really hot. Moral of the story, if you're going to bring alcohol to the beach, be prepared to drink it fast, I guess.